I'm going to show you how to make your own self-watering plant system using the Pimeroni Enviro Grow and Grow Hat. There's a number of challenges that we need to overcome. We need to 3D design the pots, make a small stand from the Enviro itself, setting up the self-watering system and then hooking this up to my monitoring system which is Grafana. So let's dive straight in. My name's Kevin, come with me as we build robots, bring them to life with code and have a whole load of fun along the way. The Pimeroni EnviroGrow is a great wireless monitoring system for plants. It's based on the Raspberry Pi Pico W Award and has Wi-Fi connectivity as well as able to run MicroPython. It features three plant monitoring sensors for soil moisture levels as well as three water pump connectors to make the self-watering plant system work. Other features include an onboard buzzer, a light sensor, a BME 280 sensor for temperature, humidity and air pressure, a Quest connector for connecting additional sensors and a pokeable button with two LED indicators as well. On the back there is also a JST PH connector which means this can be run on batteries which makes great for putting on a windowsill away from any outlets. The moisture sensor are capacitive rather than resistive sensors which means they won't corrode over time like the cheaper resistive ones do. There's a number of challenges we need to overcome. We need to design some cute plant pots that can hold the moisture sensor and a tube for the self-watering system. We need to make a small stand for the Enviro itself. We'll then set up the self-watering system by hooking this up to the monitoring system using MQTT, Node-RED, Influx and Grafana. The sensors push into the soil, however they can easily come out of the pots if they are not and the wire on the sensor can pull it at an angle. The tubes are very springy and we need to be corralled into shape if we want to keep everything neat and tidy. I want to design some small geometric plant pots that have integrated holders for the watering tubes and soil sensors. I also want them to be freestanding and able to drain water. I'm using Fusion 360 to design these geometric plant pots. In this first iteration, I really like the shape of the plant pots. The legs are a little bit too small and it does fall over because of the centre of gravity. We either need to have bigger legs, something weighty at the bottom or a larger plant pot. The springy tube is making them fall over and that's a big problem. The first thing I noticed as I assembled the plant pots was that the sensors and the watering tubes is that the sensors fit really nicely. However, they are a little bit light and flip over due to the force being applied by the watering tube. We need to control the watering tube a bit more. The stand looks great when it's not connected to any of the wires. However, as soon as I attach these, it falls over. The pocket works really nice in the back for the battery. However, it's actually hard to unplug the battery to charge it. Time to try these out. I've got these little compost pellets and I'm going to add some water and hopefully they'll expand nicely. A bit of foreshadowing here. Notice how the water drains out into the tray that these are all in. This turns out to be a bit of a problem shortly. You'll notice that I've actually got the Enviro Grow inside the tray and the USB connector is actually touching the bottom. The robot lab has a lovely south facing window that will allow plenty of light to get in onto our plants. You can see the setup here, I've got the three plants right next to the window on a little tray and then the Enviro Grow is sat on the tray as well with a little battery uh, in its side, its pocket. Just down there is the tub of water and that's to prevent the siphon effect, so the water has to be below the level of the plants. I was a bit concerned about the amount of water that's in these plants because it's supposed to be moist but not wet and these are clearly absolutely sodden. You can see there that the Enviro is actually sat in a puddle of water and what actually happened was I woke up in the morning, I checked the dashboard to see what the moisture levels were on the plants and I could see around about midnight there was no readings being read whatsoever. And what happened was the amount of water pushed into the plants onto the tray had basically drowned the Enviro. So I'm going to have to say goodbye to the Enviro Grow for now. Luckily I've got a plan B and that's to use the Grow Hat Mini. To solve the problem of the stand, I'm going to use one of these original pie stands that I've designed. This one here is in my living room and it takes readings of temperature, humidity and pressure. I've also taken the opportunity to redesign the pots to make them a little bit larger. So I'm going to print two more plant pots out to see if this works much better. So the changes I've made to this one, I've made the feet much wider so it covers much more of the base. I've also made the watering inlet pipe much higher up so that it's, it will flow on top of the soil rather than underneath it. So here's the finished result. You can see the soil sensors are much more deeper into the soil and the water inlet pipe is above the level of the soil. These are significantly larger and the amount of soil and water that can be in there is also larger, meaning that they are more stable. This is the Grow Hat Mini on the nice little pie stand that I've created and it sits there very stably. And you can also change the user interface with the little buttons on the front. 
the next step is for me to send all the data from this GrowHat Mini to my MQTT broker and also capture that in InfluxDB and Grafana. That was automatic as part of the Enviro Grow. That's something that I'll just have to add uh, with a bit of Python code, it's not too difficult. Alex also nipped out to the local garden centre to get me some new chilies, just in case the ones were ruined uh, by the, the water logging. So she selected me a nice selection of chilies, I think she got me two packets. One was quite hot and the other one is even hotter, I think these are called demon chilies. So there we go, we've got some regular chilies and these demon chilies. So I've just finished 3D printing the last plant pot, so that makes a, a set of three. So that can replace the little one that's just down there. And I'm really sad to say goodbye to this little Enviro Grow. Uh, I've really enjoyed using this, but I will order another one because these are absolutely great. And I like the idea that they're battery powered and they send their data to MQTT. And we'll look at how to set up the MQTT, Node-RED, Grafana, InfluxDB monitoring setup in a future video. So I'd like to give a shout out to the people who support the channel. We've got a number of people who are YouTube members who have bought a donation via Buy Me A Coffee and have also joined the membership program on Buy Me A Coffee as well. So thank you to all these people for their generosity. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.